Hey everybody, it's Tony from Tony'sHealthTips.org and I'm back in the pasta aisle of the grocery store. This time we're looking at breadcrumbs, okay? When we think about breadcrumbs, they don't sound that bad. It's just this powdery dust that we put on top of foods. How bad can it really be? Well, we're here to look at the ingredients to see how bad it can really be. And folks, it's bad. When we take a look at the ingredients here, the two things that stand out, when I talk about the five worst chemicals in your food, two of them are high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated oils. We've got partially hydrogenated oil. Actually, all of those, you see those behind me? All of those breadcrumbs on the top shelf, every single one of these has partially hydrogenated oil in it, okay? The reason that's a problem is because partially hydrogenated oil is, is linked to clogged arteries, obesity, but also inflammation. And when I say that partially hydrogenated oil is uh, linked to inflammation, the reason that this is a big deal, because some of you out there might be saying, I don't have a problem with inflammation. Inflammation is the root cause of so many chronic diseases. If you have one of those painful conditions, uh, I'm talking about arthritis, I'm talking about a host of things that like feels better on some days and then you have your worst days, maybe back aches, things like that. A lot of times that's inflammation and the days that you're more inflamed are the days that you're in more pain and the days that you're not as inflamed are the days that you're feeling better. So partially hydrogenated oil, which is in so much of our food, we know is linked to inflammation. And then we wonder why we hurt so much. And then because we hurt, then we throw some more toxins into our body like Tylenol and Advil and stuff like that. My suggestion is stop the cycle. Stop putting the partially hydrogenated oil and other chemicals that are linked to inflammation into your body and you're gonna be in pain less and you're not gonna need the painkillers. So what else do we have in here besides partially hydrogenated oil? Folks, I counted five different sweeteners. Are these sweet? Do these like taste good and you say, wow, I need some more of this. Are you gonna sprinkle this on your cereal? Of course not. These don't even really need sweeteners in them. But we've got honey, we've got molasses, we've got corn syrup, we've got high fructose corn syrup, and then we've got sugar. So we have five different sweeteners on here. Um, many of them are toward the top of the label. That means they're uh, more prominent within the ingredients. And let me talk about honey real quick for a second because a study came out recently that showed that more than 50% of the honey on the market is not real honey. It's syrup and it tested zero for bee pollen. So that's really just another form of syrup. I can't prove it, I can't guarantee it, but I'm willing to bet this company didn't go out and get like the best particular honey they could possibly find. They probably got the cheap stuff and the cheap stuff's always gonna be the syrup. So we've also got a couple of the preservatives on here, calcium propionate and pot potassium sorbate made to make these last longer. How often do you use these? Do you really need these sitting in your shelf for three, four weeks? Make your own breadcrumbs if you want a healthier alternative bread for breadcrumbs. It's easy, it's simple, it doesn't have all this garbage in it. But again, the two big things you're gonna wanna look out for are high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated oils when we're talking about breadcrumbs. Remember, you've only got one body. Take care of it, everybody.